Oh, no. Transiting Pluto square your sun. In this video, I'm going to give you some tools so you can get this transit like a rock star. Hello, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, you guessed it. Here to do another video. All my Pluto people, come on in. Us Pluto people, we got to stick together. It's our tribe. Our intensity, your intensity is welcome here. All right, we're going to talk a little Pluto and Aquarius square, a Scorpio sun. The evolutionary intent. What your soul is here to learn. What your soul needs to learn. we will give you some practical tools so you can really make this transit your friend. Remember, don't let anyone tell you this transit has to be difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult. Hey, all you new people, click like and subscribe. Helps me promote my channel. Also, I got a couple seats, just a few seats left in my Pluto webinar next weekend. Highly recommend checking it out. Bunch of Pluto people getting together to talk about their charts, learn from each other. Do you find these videos helpful? Well, you might really like a reading with me. It can help support me and help me put out more videos for you. All right, without any further ado, let's get into some Pluto and Aquarius squaring a Scorpio sun. So you find yourself as a soul incarnated into a body with the planet Pluto and Aquarius squaring your sun in Scorpio. How divinely powerful are you? All my Pluto people, you know how I love to be talking to me about some Scorpio. The sun, your sun. The sun is the center of the universe. The sun powers the universe. As above, so below. The sun is the center of your birth chart. The sun is the main energy in your life. Take care of the sun, you're strong and healthy. And your sun being in Scorpio means the power of that Scorpio and the power of that sun makes you a super powerful, capable person. Especially, 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 especially if you choose who you share yourself with. The key to getting anything with Scorpio is to remember, Scorpio is not for everyone, but doesn't mean it's not for some people. Finding your tribe, finding the people who celebrate that. Love your intensity, want your intensity is one of the keys to getting all Scorpio transits, all Scorpio placement, it's particularly with the sun. Because you got to remember that that Scorpio energy sees into areas that most people can't handle. Just because most people can't handle it doesn't mean some people don't love it. And the more you find the people who love it, the more you find the people that seek it out, the better off you are. Don't share yourself with the wrong people. My friend Pluto and Aquarius is coming around to have a little mental chit chat with you. Because quite often with a Scorpio son, as a child, as a little kid, you see into things and you don't have the, the language skills, the kind of decorum to figure out how to say it in a way. And then you find yourself getting wounded. You know, you say things to people that they can't handle. And all of a sudden you open your mouth and you hurt people. Because also with Scorpio, it's, it's a merging sign. It's that oneness. It's feeling into things. Feeling into things beyond your understanding. So that's another one thing that you really want to understand with Scorpio. It's how much of what you feel isn't necessarily all you. And this Pluto and Aquarius is really kind of helping you to do a little mental check all the stories, all of where you talk those feelings on as yourself and not realizing you're tuning into other people's energy. And the, the more you can realize that, the easier this transit will be for you. Also, it's on my YouTube channel. There's a playlist called the Meditation Playlist, and there's a bunch of psychic clearing boundary meditation, candle clearing meditations. Highly recommend those for you. You'll find them very helpful in working the energy of this transit because on some levels what this Pluto and Aquarius wants you to do is change the stories you're, you have about yourself, become unrecognizable. You know, I joke about your intensity is welcome here, but in reality, if anyone thinks you're too intense, they're the wrong people for you because Pluto people, it's like, you're not too intense. Your intensity is just what I want. I don't want people that aren't real. You know, and another way of people saying real, 
Oh, you're too intense. Those are the people that don't want to be real. So if anyone's telling you you're too intense, they're not your tribe. People are like, wow, thank you so much for your depth and understanding. Thank you for sharing that. I didn't realize that. That's what your tribes, that's what us Pluto people say to each other. And this Pluto in Aquarius is really helping you unlock that Scorpio sun, wanting you to kind of fully power up into your perception, your oneness, your ability to see into things that most people don't want to look at. Because that's really what that Scorpio sun's about, is being able to see into things that most people can't. You know, Scorpio can see into the dark. Pluto can see in the dark, you know, and it's interesting because the sun, light, when you shine light in the dark, you see what's reflected by light or what reflects light. That's all you see versus Pluto and Scorpio. It sees all the things that does not reflect light. You can shine a light into something and you won't see it. It's all those things that are hidden in the shadows, so to speak. All the things that aren't capable of seeing with your eyes. You feel them through your heart, through your experience, through your knowing. And this is what this Pluto and Aquarius is really wanting to help you kind of lose all those old mental stories, all the trauma of youth. Don't believe all those stories that people told you about yourself. It's another way of really helping you get this transit. If you get anything out of this video, get this. Don't believe the stories you were told about yourself as a kid. They're not true. Let me say that again. Don't believe the stories that were told about yourself as a kid. The stories in your mind, the things you think you are. Stop believing them. Allow yourself to be something different. Your intensity is special. You are special. That depth of understanding is special. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And also, don't buy into the stories that this has to be a difficult transit. It doesn't. If you work with the energy, because Pluto and Scorpio work well together. They're friends. Even though they're a square, they're still friends because Pluto rules Scorpio. So to better understand your son... You want to look to where your natal Pluto is. Look to what house it's in. I've got a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel. Bunch of Scorpio videos. I got sun in all the different houses. Aspecting all the different planets and all the different signs. That will really help you understand how to fully power up that Scorpio sun. Because on some levels, that's what Pluto and Aquarius is wanting us to kind of break free of all the prisons of our mind. So we can fully power up into our power. Because I'll tell you one thing. One of the reasons why I love my, me some Scorpio is because you are some of the more powerful people on the planet. The wisdom that you just inherently hold, the ability to see into things that you just inherently can is super special. Don't let anyone tell you any otherwise because it's not true. And this Pluto and Aquarius, now the feelings are going to be intense. Don't get me wrong. But it doesn't have to necessarily be difficult. The difficultness comes from the ego holding on to who you used to be, who it thinks you are, who you were told to be as a kid. Don't believe those old stories. Because very likely they were told to you by people who couldn't get you, couldn't understand you, couldn't handle you. It's not because you were bad or wrong. It's just they weren't capable of really getting you. And so rather than be like, oh, you're beyond me, they're like, oh, something's wrong with you. It's like, don't believe those stories. They're not true. So by looking at the different placements in your birth chart, where all this stuff sits in your birth chart will help you understand the deeper meaning of it. This is kind of what I do in my readings is I help you understand all the patterns that are holding you back, really help you unlock all the powers that your birth chart want to help you have, your soul, unlock your soul so you can become who you really are rather than who you were told to be. Because that's what this Pluto and Aquarius is here to do. It's to unlock us all. I've done a bunch of videos on Pluto and Aquarius. I'd highly recommend checking them out. There's a bunch of information there. I've also done some videos on Pluto and Aquarius square the sun. Talking about 
the aspects to the sun, I would highly recommend that too. In this video, I'm kind of more focused just on my Scorpio friends out there. Just being drawn to kind of give you some information, help you get this transit. You got this. I believe in you. I know you can do this. Don't let the ego hold you back. Don't let those stories of childhood hold you back. Share your wisdom with the right people. If they think you're too intense, they're the wrong people. So in recap, tricks to get this transit. Share your wisdom with the right people. Avoid the wrong people. Don't listen to those mental stories. Celebrate who you are. Don't listen to the woundiness of the child, the stories of the child. Let go of those. Let yourself be someone different. Pluto and Aquarius wants you to be unrecognizable to yourself. Help the ego along. You're worth it. I believe in you. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. And have a spectacular day.